Welcome to Start With, the Tampa Museum of Art's virtual early education program for children and families, sponsored by the Institute of Museum and Library Services, Hillsborough County Board of County Commissioners, Tico Energy, and PNC Bank. Hi friends, I'm Miss Iris. Thank you for joining me today for Start With. Today, we're going to read a fun story together and then we'll learn about a work of art here in the galleries at the Tampa Museum of Art. Are you ready? Let's go. There are all different kinds of artworks here at the museum. What we have on view changes throughout the year, so there's always something new to discover. Right now, I'm in an exhibition called Life and Death in the Ancient World. This gallery holds really, really old objects. A lot of them are things people would use every day, like drinking cups, plates, coins, and tools. These things are used today just like they were thousands of years ago. Today, we will focus on the ancient shipwrecked amphora. An amphora is just a fancy word for a container or a vessel, an object used to hold something. An amphora could hold different grains or liquids. The amphora we just saw was found at the bottom of the ocean. It was probably used to transport goods on ships for trading at sea. Inspired by the shipwrecked amphora, today we are starting with adventure. Have you ever been in an adventure? What did you do? Our storybook today is about a kid who goes on an exciting ocean adventure. After this video, you'll get to create your own moving ocean scene with paint and paper plates, like this one that I made. Listen closely to the story so you can get inspiration for your underwater scene. Over and Under the Waves by Kate Messner. Illustrations by Christopher Silas Neal. Read with permission from Chronicle Books. Over the waves we paddle, away from the beach, to the water's deep blue. Sea lions bark from the rocks. One slips into the water. Whoosh, flip, sploosh. She dives beneath our boats and disappears into the deep. Where did she go? I ask. Out to the bay, mom says. Under the waves is a whole hidden forest full of silver fish and squid bat stars and sea anemones. We're paddling over them now. Over the waves, we slice through the current, matching our paddle strokes to push through the wind. Under the waves, kelp bass hunt, working together to surround smaller fish. Over the waves, pelicans soar, we try to keep up with dad. Under the waves, anchovies play follow the leader in a shimmering silver school. Over the waves we paddle, riding the swells in the cool sea salt air. Soon, we're floating in a forest of kelp that winds and tangles around our boats. I grab onto a strand and hold tight to keep from drifting away. Sea otters do that too, mom says. Over the waves, a mama otter and her pup cuddle together, all wrapped up in strands of slippery brown green. Under the waves, another otter follows the kelp strands, searching for red abalone and sea urchins. I take a break from paddling to lean back and look up, where shorebirds swoop and soar. They hang in the sky until just the right moment to strike. Under the waves, leopard sharks prowl the sea floor, while a wolf eel lurks in a crevice, waiting for prey to pass by. Look, Dad points and way in the distance, sprays of mist fountain up from the waves. Humpback whales have surfaced to breathe, 
we paddle out for a closer look. The bay has gone quiet. We wait, rising and falling on the swells. Under the waves, pale moon jellies float and sea nettles drift, swinging with the slow current. We should head back, Mom says, but then. Whoosh! Our humpback whales lunge to the surface, mouths open to feast on sardines. They crash back down with a splash and a surge. Wow! Our boats rock as the waves dive once more. A slow, smooth arch, a swoosh of their tails, and then they're gone under the waves. Over the waves, the wind grows brisk. I shiver and zip my jacket as we turn and head for home. Now you blend in with the boat, Mom laughs. Down below, a giant octopus swims over the sand. And then it changes color to match the rocks and disappears. A camouflage magic trick under the waves. Over the waves, we paddle toward shore. The tide's coming in now and helps us along. We steer between the pilings of the wharf, below striped sea perch circle. Barnacles pull in their feathery feet, while tree fish and prawns tuck away in the rocks. We ride a big wave right onto the beach as the sun melts into the sea. Sea stars cling to the rocks in the tide pools and anemones glisten in the last light of day. While mom pulls up our boat, I search for shells at the shoreline and spell out my name in the sand. At the edge of the waves, a decorator crab collects bits of seaweed and sponge. His shell is his canvas and home. With wave wobbly legs and paddle sore arms, we climb the stairs toward home. It's time for Nana's spaghetti and meatballs, then chocolate chip cookies and bed. I can still hear the sea behind me, a shushing ocean lullaby as the moon rises over the waves. They rock the dreaming sea perch in their drifting forest of kelp, the luminous jellyfish and deep diving whales, the delicate anemones and the vanishing octopus. Tonight, stars of the sky meet stars of the sea in the secret world under the waves. Now that we've read this fun story together, let's take a closer look at the ancient shipwrecked amphora. This amphora is from Greece and it's over 2000 years old. Do you see what it's covered with? Do you know what that is? They're barnacles which are sea creatures that live in shells. While this vessel was underwater, the barnacles decided to make it their home. But the original purpose of this container was not to be a home for barnacles. It was to hold things on ships. These are some questions to think about as you look at the shipwrecked amphora. What do you think you'd find underwater after a shipwreck? What do you think this amphora would hold what kinds of things do you think people would trade with each other across sea? I hope you're inspired because now it's time for you to create your own moving ocean scene, like this one that I made, over and under the waves. Imagine all the sea creatures you would see if you had an adventure at sea. Get help from an adult and visit our website to learn how to make this art project. All right, friends, I hope you had fun learning about adventure and the shipwrecked amphora. Don't forget to come visit the Tampa Museum of Art so you can see the ancient art for yourself. Thanks for joining me today. See you later.